So hey what's up guys I'm back with another two weeks video I know I'm late because my exams are going on so please consider my late and I will surely upload daily videos after my exams so in this video I want to show you how to fix lag and shutter in Resident Evil 2 remake but today's video today's type of the video is a different time I'm using I'm not going to show you briefly I'm just going to show you briefly not explaining everything because I know everyone knows how to do that do those things so I'm just going to show you few things and just pick few things first of all before running the game download memory time link is in my description and a quick file which is made by me also link is in the description the second the third thing is that always in every game any game doesn't matter before running the game, open the game and minimize it and then go to task manager and select that exe file and set the priority to high. This this will just focus the game to its maximum performance. Third thing, uh, fourth thing, the fourth thing is go if you are having Windows 10 then go to settings, gaming then go to graphic settings and select the exe file which are in my which i have shown in my other videos the means any exe any game you are doing set it to high performance by selecting this okay so now without any further waste of time let's start today's video Now what you need to do, just download the file from my description. The password of the file is beastpad 30 And now you need to copy that file and paste it in the game folder. I forgot to tell you one thing that please run the game in the lowest resolution in from the game menu after opening the game go to your game settings and then go to graphics and in the graphics set your resolution to 640 into 480 for best performance for best performance but if you want to higher it higher to 800 into 600 but not more than 800 into 600 as it will decrease the performance but if you're having 8 GB RAM or 2 GB graphics card, then you can you can change it to 120. That doesn't what matter, but I will recommend you to play it in 640 into 480 resolution for best performance. So yeah, so if this video if this video helped you to gain a little more FPS, then please like and subscribe for more content like this. My next video is going to be on Valorant or CSGO. Let me see which will come first.
Watch out! Mm -hmm. 